What is up, people? I am not often out during the day. As you see, I have no glasses because I just got done at Eyes on Missouri and they are, unfortunately, I can't fucking get new frames until next year. And to replace the lenses I do have is going to cost me $200. I'm frustrated because financially, all this stuff that I've got, um, turn off the camera please. Thank you. All the, I like that car, nice car, I like the color. Uh, you know I'll have to discuss it later. Right, and I am back. So I'm stressing because I've got a lot of bills and now I've got more stacking on top and and I'm having to pick and choose between things that I need and things that I have to do. What I mean is I'm not going to be able to pay for these glasses for weeks and I'm not going to be able, I'm debating whether I can even afford to do the psychotherapy treatment, the EDRM or EDMR, EMDR, or whatever, because my rent is already short, I'm tr I've got my phone bill coming up, I've got to pay for this psychotherapy treatment, my therapist that I'm already seeing, I'm already behind like three payments the psychologist they're gonna charge me too and I mean and then the eye doctor and then my doctor's visit that I went the physician uh, my bills are higher than my income and I'm not even spending my money stupidly like I'm not buying anything I, I think I did buy something last week, but that was even before. It was $50. Um, the tattoo, that that's being paid for a completely different way, so that's not affecting me. Plus, I can pay for it in payments. So, I just get it done as I need, as I can afford to get it done, so it's not a big deal there. Uh, but... The other stuff, I'm just frustrated because I'm having to decide whether I can afford to do the things that I need to have done for myself, like the treatment and the therapy, so that I can pay for the things that other people aren't really going to care whether, like, no one cares that I, I need to go do some treatment. The only thing they're going to care about is that I pay the phone bill or that I get the rent in on time, and this is frustrating me. I'm also not out very often during the day, but I had an appointment today at 8.30 a.m., so, and I work tonight. <sighs> Anyways, I'm walking home, getting some exercise, thinking. My vape pen broke. I don't know why, it just stopped working. So I'm frustrated by that because that's kind of like my daily dose of medicine. And yeah, it's weed that's in it. It helps sidetrack my mind so that I'm not focused on what I'm thinking about right now and the stuff that makes me unhappy. So that I've got to figure out how to replace too. But that's definitely not going to be able to be high on the priority list. So I'll probably go home and dismantle it and figure out how I might be able to repair it. But that vape pin has sucked anyways. I was disappointed. All the reviews said it was awesome. But then when I got it, the very first day it broke. And I had to have them send out a replacement. And then I've just been having issues with it non-stop since then. So avoid Lynx Vapor. 
or Lynx Vapor products. At least the one that I got. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Never work right when you first when you uh, want them to. This Camaro, right? Dodge, Dodge Charger. Sorry, it has chameleon paint on it. It color shifting paint, and I've never seen a vehicle with that. David's riding his fucking ass. Why? You're making it awkward. I know, but we're just looking at his ass. We don't get to actually see the chameleon paint. Okay, except if he, if he yeah, if he turns, then we'll get to see it. Welcome to the first clip of the week, people. Ah, oh, he's going straight. But it's gonna turn into a two-lane road up here. So, when we get closer, I'll on pause. He's fucking pulling away from you. Can't really pull away too much since it's only one <laughs> lane. And there's a bunch of cars in front of him. He's stuck being gawked at by me and David. You could sort of see the color shifting on the yeah. sides. Especially around the lights. Yep, yep. And I bet if it was sunnier, you could really tell too. Oh, yeah. But this guy definitely loves his car. Oh, yeah. He's probably put up thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. You think? Just that paint job alone. All right. It's turning, people. We're going to drive by it. Ah, that was cool. Not as cool as if I had been walking or driving it myself, though. And your description of that has lasted far too long. I lost interest a long time ago. <laughs> What's up, people? Welcome to another clip. First clip? Second clip of the week? I still haven't even uploaded last week's video yet, so... I'm slacking. Just got back from, uh... From some, uh... Yoga? Yeah. <laughs> Yoga. Got back from some yoga. Uh, no, from some therapy. Talking to the therapist. To the crazy people. To the crazy doc. Uh, and surprisingly, stupidly, I opened up about things I really don't think I should have. Uh, and that I normally wouldn't. I even cried a little like a little pussy. I did. Well, and then I... Uh, well, I really started talking. And then, well, good, man. It, it, it means there's a good therapy session, I guess. I guess. I mean, I still haven't been fully honest about what, I, what I'm what i there, for, what I need, or... Because I don't even know. But I'm working my way to being as open as I can. Gotta go back next week for a two-hour session. Jeez. Just like it's get They're like hearing, hearing all my problems and be like, all right, we need him for double the time. <laughs> he needs double the treatment. I mean, it's good they're getting the treatment that you need. I am going to get a haircut, I think. I need a haircut. And I'm trying to grow the beard out again so I could do a fade on the sides. Shave the bottom, just like bam. Actually, I'm going to grow it a little bit on the bottom. That's what it covers. And then, like, fade right here. You should I'm going like to shave the top. You should have, like, an awkward handlebar mustache. No. Nah. <laughs> Still working on getting uh, losing that weight, though. I think I'm starting to plateau, though, because... I gotta go check on my food, <laughs> ironically enough. As I was just going through all my cards and I wanted to set out all my my MJs and take a look at them together because I've never actually, uh, I've never actually gone all through my cards and just uh, sorted the, I mean, I had, <laughs> obviously I had like Michael Jordan and stuff separated out, but I never like set them all down to see how many different ones I have. And I was like, damn, I got a lot of, a lot of MJs. I need to wait like 20 more years. And then uh, this is kind of gr gruesome, but then he'll pass away probably 20, 30 more years. <laughs> and when, so when I'm about 60, these will actually be worth something probably. I'm sure some of them are worth something now, but, you know. Then I've got the Carl Malone collection over here. All my Carl Malone cards. I still got, I got some packs I plan on opening today. Flash in the past. 1990, I don't, oh, 93, I'm blind. These are even older. Yep, I'm going to open these, see what we got in these. Uh, I got, like, boxes of these. I just occasionally open them for, I don't know, for uh, 
personal nostalgia, I guess. So I keep a supply of these on hand. That way, when I feel like, man, I want to open up a classic pack of cards and see what I get. And, well, you can get some good stuff over the years. Man, I used to be such a huge card collector. You guys do not know. Uh, I was well known as a card collector for a long time. I'm minimizing this so that... Uh, there you go. So there's not a giant reflection of the screen on the cards. But I used to have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cards. There are these boxes that are a little bit bigger than that Calvin and Hobbes book over there. Uh... But, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'll show you guys the, uh, but anyways, yeah. So I used to make card, castle out of, card castles out of all of my cards before I realized they were worth anything when I was a kid. Uh, but then I lost all of my cards. I had enough I probably could have opened up my own shop. More than enough that I probably, if I had them still, would have a couple of really high-value cards. Um, for sure, uh, because I did used to have the North Carolina rookie card, or, uh, I think it was a rookie card, uh, but I used to have Michael Jordan's North Carolina card, a few of them, actually, a whole bunch of Shaq rookie cards, fucking, excuse my language, but, uh, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Alonzo Mourning, BJ Armstrong, Scotty Pippen, I used to have them all because I had, I had complete sets. I never got just, like, individual packs when I was kids. Not very often, actually. Mostly, I got them by the boxes, by big boxes that would each hold five rows of, like, a thousand. Uh, or four rows of a thousand, I believe it was. They're big boxes. Um, and I had just stacks of those boxes. Yep. But they weren't all basketball. Just basketball was my favorite. Most of them were basketball and then uh, baseball and then football. But, yeah. This isn't even my favorite player. My favorite player is Carl Malone. This is actually a game-worn uh, jersey piece in there. Fabric. Carl Malone wore that. Fabric of the game. Can you please focus? Thank you. Yep, yep. Um, other memorabilia. I actually completely forgot that he switched over to the Lakers. Trader. You were good when you were on the Jazz, though, buddy. And check it out. These are all my Carl Malone's. For the most part, I believe I've got them all separate, separated out as being separate cards. I don't think I have any duplicates uh, sitting out that should be stacked on each other. So you should only be seeing different cards, unless I'm blind, <laughs> which is entirely possible. Lots of Carl Malone, man. I'm a jazz fan. I'm the jazz man, yeah. Uh... I'm, I'm actually trying to look and see if there's any duplicates out there while I'm talking to you, which is why I'm probably not chatting the way I should. Anyways, that's all I want to show you. It's all the, all of my uh, Carl Malone's and Michael Jordan's. Went, I was going through all my cards and just wanted to set them out. What's up, minions? To the final clip of the week, huh? That's where we're at. Look, can you see I'm growing out the beard? I'm going to try and, uh, try and stylize it this time. <clears throat> I am working up front tonight. Came in an hour and a half early because they needed me. And the boss is working down in my area. And I'm working up here until about midnight. Then I will be switching. I'll be going back down there. Let's see what the boss is doing down there. <laughs> Looks like they're all just meeting down there and hanging out. Ah, uh, anyways, it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to figure this crap out, but hey, I'm getting it. Um, I don't really have anything to talk about. I just wanted to do a last clip of the week, say hello. Uh, still working on losing the weight, down to about 331, which is what I weighed 
earlier this week or last week. I think it was last week. Uh, so you guys probably already know. Um, stepped up the exercise game though, and I stepped up the diet, the uh, the life change uh, game because uh, I was I had uh, decided to go ahead and make it so that it was a thousand calories a day that I was eating. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and drop it down to 700 calories because I don't know, just felt like I was overeating with a thousand calories and I'm very self-conscious about the way I look right now. Um, the shirt is a XL, um, which surprised me when I put it on that it actually fit. It's slightly short, so I still got a few pounds to lose. Um, but it fits me not tight, while the jacket is a 3X, no, 2X, and it's kind of uh, small. Like, I can't close it up all the way. I don't know how, how that all works. but uh, And I'm sure if I throw on a 2X shirt... Um, that it's not going to, uh, I, in other words, I think the tag on here is wrong because I have a 2X shirt that I bought and it don't fit. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, haven't chatted with the family too much this week. Uh, they've, uh, probably been busy doing their own stuff. Dude, I really love that backdrop. If only the, uh. The rail wasn't there. Let's see. We'll move to a better spot. Uh, so, uh, my brother told me that my landlord, which is his girlfriend, is rather upset with us at the house. Um, and that's because apparently, all right, apparently I am behind a little bit on the rent. Not by much. Couldn't be. It's got to be less than a less than $50, um, but I don't see how I could be that far behind. Um, David was short a little bit last month, and I was short $3 this month, so I'll have to take care of that in the next couple weeks as soon as I get the letter. Also, Ryan's dog tore up the carpet in the hallway, so landlord's pissed off about that once that replaced within a certain time frame. I don't know. She's sending a letter. That's supposed to detail uh, what it is. And I'm just upset because most of that stuff isn't even my fault. It's all stuff that I've tried to prevent, that I've told my roommates, uh, housemates, uh, to avoid. Or I've given them instruction on how to avoid the, car the dogs getting to the carpet. My dog doesn't destroy anything. Just seems to be Ryan's dog for some reason. Um, what else? So yeah, I'm a little pissed off about that. Thinking about expanding on my tattoo idea. I think I'm going to add Psylocke, Gambit, and Magneto to the leg. Uh, if there's enough space for it. And if I end up deciding to go ahead and do that. I don't know. Maybe I should just add one character. No. I don't know. Maybe I should just have them finish what I've got going on and then decide from there, right? Uh, because I was planning on getting some driver's lessons done uh, when I'm done with the tattoo. I should be done with the tattoo middle of April, I think. But I probably won't start driver's egg classes Unless I can get a friend to do it, which I have one friend who says, you don't need to pay them. I'll do it for you for free. We'll see. I'm going to try and set that up. But uh, after July, uh, around the middle of July, because I'm going to be leaving in July to go and uh, visit family for the 4th of July for that week. Also, next month, April, I have to, the what, 12th, 13th, and 14th, I have to work extra because my coworker, he is going out of town. I didn't realize that it was April. Or else I'd have been like, what the heck, man? How does this guy have so many vacation days? 
Uh, same guy that I had to do vacation days in December or January or whatever. Now I have to do them again. Uh, that was cool. Whatever. Mm, I think I just did them last month for him or earlier this month. I don't remember. Getting old. Been talking to this girl. Uh, I was talking to two girls, but one of them I stopped talking to because she was reminding me too much of some people that I know, and uh, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that kind of negativity, uh, constant negativity. Like, literally every message was like, uh, was something negative. Oh, I, could, I didn't sleep today. It was very hard to get up, or... Uh, it was just the constant. It was like every conversation. I'd try to encourage positive topics or positive conversation, and it just it would not go anywhere. So drop that. Uh, not sure how I feel about this shirt. I don't think I really like it very much. It feels a little, I don't know. Sideways stripes really make you look whiter. Uh, but, so yeah, I'm going to work a couple extra days, been talking to a girl, next couple of weeks is going to be a little exhausting work-wise, and then I've also changed my sleep schedule, hopefully, I'm really trying to keep this permanent, so, man, I really do not want to work the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, ugh. I need people to take shifts for me. I mean, yeah, extra extra work is extra hours. Extra hours is a lot of extra money, especially if I'm working overtime. But I don't really need it. I mean, I need it, but I'm not desperate. I don't know. We'll see. It's not like my job's hard, right? Stop complaining. Anyways, this is it. See you guys next week on the next clip and thanks for watching stay awesome